says to the servants of the house, uh, servants of the house, move away, and will the father restrict his younger son? എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ നമ്മൾക്ക് വലിയ ആത്മീയപക്വത ഒന്നും ഇല്ലെങ്കിലും കർത്താവ് യേശുവിനുള്ള വിശ്വാസത്താൽ ഞാൻ ദൈവമകനാണ് അല്പമേ നിനക്ക് ജ്ഞാനമുള്ളെങ്കിലും നീ യേശുവിന്റെ നാമത്തിലൊരു വാക്ക് പറഞ്ഞാൽ പിതാവ് അത് തടയത്തില്ല പിതാവ് നിന്റെ കാര്യം സാധിപ്പിച്ചു തരോ You Amen. might not be fully aware of your inheritance in Christ but when you declare that you are a son and you uh, ask certain situations to move away then God is faithful he will do it for you ഒരു ചെറിയ ഒരു വിശ്വാസം എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ എനിക്ക് ഇത്ര അറിയത്തുള്ളൂ പക്ഷേ നിങ്ങൾ ഓർത്തോണം ഈ ചേട്ടന്റെ അതേ അധികാരവും അനുവാദവും എനിക്കുണ്ട് It's a small step of faith even though this 5 year old does not know he still has the same authority that the 25 year old has Hallelujah വലിയ നമുക്ക് ഒരു ഒരു വലിയ ഒരു ആത്മീയ ശുശ്രൂഷ ചെയ്യാൻ പക്വതകളൊക്കെ ഉള്ളത് നല്ലതാണ് നമ്മുടെ പക്വത അനുസരിച്ച് ഒന്നും അല്ല ദൈവം പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്നത് അറിയാമോ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയാമോ it is it is good to have experience but it's not according to experience or wisdom that god works with us na devathinte nalla attitude ullu odi nee onnu pravartiche nee parayunnathu adu tetto undengil polum parayna vaakye seri allengil polum devathinte parishudharma avada pravartikkum ennalla kaaryam ningalku ariyamo do you know that even though what you say might not be right when you say it the holy spirit will work on your behalf amen amen nammala appan ennu parannu kenja nammala eda ninne eda or aati tharan vendi kaathirikkunnannu valla devan nammala snehichu nammala uyarthi na nee aaradu ninne velippadutha ninne God does not want to put you down but he wants to make you grow up so that he you might understand who you are in him. Amen. അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ കൊച്ചു കുഞ്ഞു ആണെങ്കിൽ തന്നെ ഒരു അബദ്ധം വന്നാൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും? അപ്പൻ അവനെ പ്രോത്സാഹിപ്പി ചേടാ മോനെ സാരമില്ല. നിനക്ക് ഒരു അബദ്ധം വന്നാൽ 50 രൂപയുടെ നഷ്ടം വന്നു. കുഴപ്പമില്ലടാ. എനിക്ക് 5000 കോടി ഉണ്ടടാ. ഇനി നീ ചെയ്യടാ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് നമ്മളെ ലിഫ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു കർത്താവ് നമ്മളെ. So this 5 year old even if he makes a mistakes and has some loss the father will say it's okay I can cover your loss because I have a bit gig big inheritance amen amen oru divasam njan oru prayer share cheyidarunnu bihar il oru sadharana alle kariyaayittulla oru sahodari i have shared this in a prayer meeting before uh, an ordinary sister a new uh, new uh, somebody who has been recently saved amen these are rakshikapetta oru sahodari thanne bartavu madhyavani ayirunnu adhe marichu her husband was an alcoholic and he died cycle ritual adhe thanne shariram veetti kondu vannu and they bought his body into the house in an auto rickshaw veetukar ellam kude adhe avada koodi irikkiyana and all the people in the house they are gathered together appo ee sahodari veedinathu keri shava sharira bartavinte shariram unde aalude ellam ningal porthu irangan marannu and inside the house they placed his body so this sister she went into the house and asked all the people to go out and she sat there with her husband's body alleluia sahodari kartavanod ingane prarthichu and this sister prayed to god like this kartave njan ninde magalana God I am your daughter. ഇതെന്റെ ഭർത്താവിന്റെ ശരീരമാണ് ഈ കിടക്കുന്നത്. This is the body of my husband that's lying here. എന്റെ ഭർത്താവ് മരിച്ചു പോയി നിനക്ക് അങ്ങേക്ക് അറിയാം. As you know my husband has died. ഈ ഭർത്താവ് മരിച്ചതിന് എനിക്ക് യാതൊരു വിഷമവും ഇല്ല. I have no regrets in my husband dying. പക്ഷേ എനിക്ക് ഒരു ഒരു ഖേദമുണ്ട്. But I have one uh, regret. അത് ഇതാണ് എന്റെ ഭർത്താവ് രക്ഷിക്കപ്പെട്ട ഒരു മനുഷ്യനല്ല. My husband has not been saved. രക്ഷിക്കപ്പെടാത്ത മനുഷ്യൻ മരിച്ചാൽ നരകത്തിൽ പോകും. If a man is he is not saved then he goes to hell. അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ മകനെ നീ ജീവിപ്പിച്ചു തരണം ഇവനെ രക്ഷിക്കപ്പെടുവാനും ഇവൻ യേശുവിന്റെ സാക്ഷിയാകുവാനും ഇടയാക്കണം അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ മകനെ ജീവിപ്പിച്ചു തരണം എന്ന് ഈ സഹോദരി പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചു. And this sister prayed like this this man my husband he does not know the lord but you have to bring him back so that he might know you and he might get saved. ഇവര വലിയ ശാസ്ത്രം വേദശാസ്ത്ര പണ്ഡിതി ഒന്നും അല്ലേ. ഹല്ലേലൂയ. This person is not a theologian. ഇവർക്ക് ഒരു അല്പം മാത്രം വെളിച്ചോട് യേശു എന്റെ രക്ഷിതാവാ യേശു എനിക്ക് സർവ്വമാണെന്ന് അവർ വിശ്വസിച്ചു ഓൾ ദാറ്റ് ഷീ നോസ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് എ റിഡീമർ ആൻഡ് ഹി ഹാസ് സേവ്ഡ് മീ ഹല്ലേലൂയ കർത്താവ് ഈ പ്രാർത്ഥനയെ കേട്ടു ബട്ട് ഗോഡ് ഹെർഡ് ദിസ് പ്രയർ മരിച്ചവൻ ഉയർന്നെത്തിയെടുത്തു ആൻഡ് ദി ഡെഡ് പേഴ്സൺ റോസ് അഗൈൻ മരിച്ചവൻ ഉയർത്തിയെടുത്തൽക്ക് മാത്രമല്ല ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദി ഡെഡ് പേഴ്സൺ റോസ് അഗൈൻ ഉറച്ചെഴുന്നേറ്റവൻ ചോദിക്കുക യേശുവിനെ പറ്റി എന്നോട് പറയാമോ ഹല്ലേലൂയ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് പേഴ്സൺ ഹു റോസ് അഗൈൻ ഹി ഇസ് ആസ്കിങ് ഹിസ് വൈഫ് പ്ലീസ് ടെൽ മീ അബൌട്ട് ജീസസ് എനിക്ക് യേശുവിനെ പറ്റി അറിയണം I want to know about this Jesus. Yesu avante uyarthedalpike mathramalla Yesu avante manasine maati Yesuvine ariyuvan daahamulla oru vyaktiyaakki avane roopaandarapaduthi oru sadharana kaariyay oru sagodari prarthichappo Yesu avane jeevipichu. When an ordinary sister prayed God not only raised up a person from the dead but also gave him a repentant heart and asked him to look forward to Jesus. Hallelujah. Naan parayunna hallelujah sodram idu avarkku ithra avagasham undu oru vaashe avagasham bodhunna oru prarthicha alla. Maybe they did not pray knowing that all these things are possible in God. Athrayo na avarku ariyathilla. Maybe they did not know of many things. Avarku alpame ariyathullu. They only knew a few things. Ennal valiya valiya alleluya panditanmar cheyan veyatha karyam oru sadharana karyayi oru sthriyude alpa 
But things which many people who have very well learned in the word of God are not able to do, God did it through the small faith of this sister. Amen, amen. How many of you believe you are a hero of the covenant of God because of me? I am a partner with Almighty God. God is going to do for me whatever I am asking for you. As per the will of God, whatever I ask, my God will do. How many of you believe it? പോലും <laughs> and vishwasikunu ennu para that give god an opportunity to make you believe amen even if you don't believe just declare to god god i agree with the covenant that you have with me and because of that i will do it and on the basis of that god will do it for you yenikella ariyavunnundallo alpame enik ariyathullu aa alpavul arivu naan angike thorandariya nee pravartikkanu ennu parayam nammal thorandu kodukumbade devathil pravartikkan pattathullu when you open yourself to god and say god i do not know many things but the little i have i open to you then god will do things on your behalf ഇവിടെ ദേവദാസൻ എന്തൊക്കെ പ്രസംഗിക്കുന്നു അവിടെ ആരാണ്ട കാര്യമോ അത് അവർ ചെയ്തതാ എനിക്കിതൊന്നും പറ്റുമോ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് നീ നിങ്ങൾ ഇരിക്കരുത് ദൈവം വാസ്തവമായിട്ട് ഹി ഇസ് എ റിയൽ ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ഹി റിയലി മീൻ ബിസിനസ് Don't Don't think that God there's the man of God is preaching about somebody in some other part of the world God is real even in this place God a horse play kalikunavan alla devan nammal kalikunavan alla devan is a serious god devan thende vadrangala serious aayittu ethe edukkunavan vendi devan nichchayamaayittu pravartikkum nee aaraikkollatte nee serious aayittu devan thende vadrangala ethe edutthal ninakku vendi ulladaan ee devam if you accept the word of God in its value then God will work on your behalf amen hallelujah namakariyam we know ഇവരെ സ്വാതന്ത്ര്യ ഉള്ളവരാക്കി കർത്താവ് തീർത്തു ഗാഡ് മെയ്ഡ് ദം പീപ്പിൾ വിത്ത് ഫ്രീഡം ആമേൻ ആമേൻ ഈ പഴയ നിയമത്തിൽ ഇവരെ അലലിയ സ്തോത്രം നമുക്ക് ഒരു വേദഭാഗം വായിക്കാം ഇൻ ദി ഓൾഡ് ടെസ്റ്റമെന്റ് വി കൻ റീഡ് എ പോർഷൻ ഓഫ് സ്ക്രിപ്ചർ ലൈക്ക് ആമേൻ പുറപ്പാട് പുസ്തകം 21 ആം അധ്യായം എക്സോഡസ് ചാപ്റ്റർ 21 ഒന്ന് മുതൽ അഞ്ച് വരെയുള്ള വാക്യങ്ങൾ വേർസ് 1 ടു 5 ലെറ്റ് സംബഡി റീഡ് പ്ലീസ് താങ്ക്യൂ കർത്താവേ നല്ല കർത്താവേ സ്തുതിക്കുന്ന ആദാ പരിശുദ്ധ ആത്മാവ് ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കണമേ കടകല്ല രബ പുറപ്പാട് 21 1 മുതൽ 5 വരെ സ്വാതന്ത്ര്യം <laughs> The first Christ thing that God says is in the 7th year he will have to set him free. Amen. കാരണം ഈ അർത്ഥം ഇതാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ഏത് തരത്തിലുള്ള അടിമത്തത്തിൽ കുടുങ്ങി കിടന്നാലും നിങ്ങളെ റിലീസ് ചെയ്യാൻ ദൈവത്തിന് ഒരു അപ്പോയിന്റഡ് ടൈം ഉണ്ട്. What Alleluia. that means is that regardless of what kind of bondage you are under there is an appointed time for God to deliver you. ദൈവത്തിന് നിന്നെ സ്വന്തമാക്കാൻ ഇഷ്ടമാ. God wants to deliver you. എന്നേക്ക് നീ ബന്ധനത്തിൽ ഇരിക്കത്തില്ല. You will not always be in bondage. God will come and he will release you. ദൈവം വന്ന് നിങ്ങളെ വിടുവിക്കും ദൈവം ഒരു ദിവസം നിനക്ക് വേണ്ടി വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ ദിവസം പുതിയ നിയമത്തിൽ ഇന്നാണ് നീ ഇന്ന് വിശ്വസിക്കുന്ന ഇന്ന് നിന്റെ ബന്ധനങ്ങളെ അഴിക്കുവാനാണ് ദൈവമേ
God will come and deliver Hallelujah. come and deliver you on the appointed day. He has set an appointed day and on that day he will come and deliver you. Do you know in the new covenant when you get that freedom? Hallelujah. That message of deliverance is Hallelujah. comes to your ear. That moment itself, if you accept it, you have deliverance. When God releases his word through his servants, at that moment itself, you have deliverance. In this morning time, all of you who are listening to this message, you have a deliverance. God has an appointed time to deliver you. In the old covenant, it was every seven years. And after seven years, on the 50th year, there's another big deliverance. But in the new covenant, it's not like that. The moment you accept the word of God which is spoken on your behalf, that moment itself you have deliverance. If you believe today, then God is able to loosen your bonds today. Why God do that? Because God's word is released so that you can be free. Because God's word... Because God's word is released and because of the released word he will deliver you. Amen. This man served his master for seven years. And the master is sending his servant free. At that, time, at that time, the servant is saying like this. He's saying there is not a master like this anywhere else. Even though I have freedom, I will never get this, uh, a master like him anywhere else. Since this master is so good. And because of that, I only need this master. I will not leave this master anymore. Hallelujah. Because God is always going to give us that freedom to leave him whenever we choose. When we were slaves to the devil, it was a time when we could not use the freedom that we had. Because when we were the slaves to devil, we were a slave to sin and because of that, death came into our lives. But Christ came and gave and paid the price for our salvation. From this point on, it's our choice. If we want, we can follow Jesus. And if we do not want, we can leave, live as we want. God will not complain. That is what we have seen here. The master said to his servant, you can go wherever you want. But this servant is saying like this. I am not going to leave you. I am going to live for you. When when the servant agrees to this and what happens is the master puts a hole in his ear what it means that after the ears is pierced is what that means is this servant belongs to this master this servant belongs to this master the children that this, mass, uh, this servant has and they are heirs to this house. In the house of a Jewish people, there are different kinds of servants. There are servants who get paid every single day. And they are hired servants. They come for every single day's wages. After a day's uh, work and wages, they go away. But there are also servants whose ears are pierced. They don't have anywhere else to go. All the inheritance of the master belongs to them also. The children of this, uh, these servants are the inheritance of God. At that time itself, the master might have other sons as well. Uh, the master might have his own children. But along with his own children, the, the children of his servants also have an inheritance on the table. 
Whose picture is this? The, 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 this master is our God the Father. This father has one begotten son, just uh, unlike there is nobody else like him. Amen, amen, amen. We are all children of God. But, but we are not exactly sons of God like Jesus is. The word of God says, Whosoever believes in the only begotten Son of God, they will be saved and not have and have everlasting life. Amen. Jesus is the only begotten of God, and there is nobody else like him. But what we see here is this. God has freed us. I am not going to let go of this master. And those of us like that, God is adopting us into his own family. And once a person is adopted, that person, that adopted person has an inheritance. All this uh, authority, it belongs to, do you know, you know who it belongs to? Is it not the authority of the children of this master? But whatever inheritance this master has, he's also right, dividing right. it among his servants. In the same way, all that God the Father has belongs to whom? All of it belongs to Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. We are joined heirs with Jesus Christ for everything which Jesus has. But when we are adopted into the family of God, we are co heirs with Christ in everything that He has. All that Jesus has comes becomes our inheritance as well. Here we can see another picture. When the ear of the servant is pierced, there is a meaning behind it. I am always going to be the servant to this master. In Psalms 40, it talks about Jesus like this. Jesus says like this. Father, you have pierced my ears. Hallelujah. Once we are the adopted child, what should we do? Adopted children are here this morning. Adopted children are here this morning. Do you understand? We are all being adopted like how this servant was become a part of that family of the master. Exactly like that, we are all being adopted because we choose to uh, receive Jesus and we choose to live for him. Our heavenly father, the master, has adopted us to the family of God with the, the spirit of sonship in us. That is uh, our, hallelujah, it is because we have the spirit of sonship in us that we are heirs to this inheritance. Amen, amen. So how many people here are heirs to this inheritance of God? So whose inheritance are we enjoying? All of us, we are enjoying the inheritance of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. What does it mean to pierce one's ear? Hallelujah. Is there any special effects of having your ears pierced? There are many people like that in this age. That is not the meaning behind it. In the word of God, God says to us something. He says it again and again. Anyone who has an ear, let him hear. Amen. When I, what it means to pierce my ear is that I am surrendering my ear to listen to the voice of God. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. 
the people who used to minister to god they used to submit their ears alleluia angane pradishthikapetta chevi tulakkapetta chevi devashabdathine സമർപ്പിക്കുന്ന <laughs> ചെവി കേൾക്കുന്ന ഒരു ചെവിയായി തീരുക God I pray that today this ear will become a hearing ear അതിനായി നീ സഹായിക്കണം let it be that let it happen like that അല്ലേ അങ്ങനെ പ്രതിഷ്ഠിക്കപ്പെട്ട ചെവിയെ all the ears that have been submitted like that രക്തം കൊണ്ട് അഭിഷേകം ചെയ്യും അല്ലേ it will be anointed with blood amen രക്തം കൊണ്ട് അതിനെ അതിനെ രക്തം അതിനെ തളിക്കും and it will be anointed with the blood adu kondu thirathilla it is not just with that adine enna puratti pinne abhishegam cheyyum and then it will be anointed again with oil hallelujah adu kondu inda pagal kaalam nammude chevi and because of that our ears this morning nammal devathinte daasanmar aanu parayumbol when we say that we are servants of god devathinte makkal aanu parayumbol when we say that we are children of god aa jeevananda daasanmar aanu parayumbol when we say that we are servants for life nammude chevi our ears innu mudal from today onward deiva shabdam kelkuna let it be to hear the word of god devathe anusarikkuna a ear that obeys god deiva munbaga pradishthikkapetta a ear that surrendered to god rakthathal abhishegam cheyappetta a ear that's anointed with the blood parishuddal maavnal abhishegam cheyappetta a ear that is anointed with the holy spirit oru cheviyai thiran in order for that to happen nangada cheviyale innu pagal kaalam njangal samarpikkunu karthave we surrender our ears to god for that oh god karthave ee samarpikkapetta chevi adakalaru udana maavnal abhishegam this year which we have surrendered to you innu mudal from today onward jeevanulla devathinte shabdam kelkuna chevigale yesu enna naamathil thirate let it be ears that hears the voice of the living god amen amen adinai karthavu nammale sahayikkatte and let god help us for that hallelujah appo ingane ee ee dasan ingane ee kudumbathilekku avagashiyai thiru and like this the servant becomes an heir to the household amen hallelujah mara namakku devathinte makkalai thirnappol namakku ariyam sorg yesu karthavu ingane paranju when we became children of god jesus said like this yesu paranju sorgaran jendana mumbai shishyamarudu paranju sorgathilum bhoomiyilum sagala adhigarangal enikku nalgapettu jesus said like this when he was ascending into heaven he said all authority in heaven and on earth is given to me hallelujah sorgathil sagala adhigarangalum all authority in heaven endonda sorgathil sagala adhigarangalum why all the authority in heaven yega satya dev yega satya devumaya devu oru devam because there is only one true god aa devathine ega putran there is only one son for that god devathine putran ennalla nilil sagala swargiyathinum swargathile sagalathinum avagashi otte oralu ullu nammada karthavai as the only son of god there is only one person who is an heir to all the inheritance in heaven and that is jesus amen bhoomil ulla anugrahangal all the blessings of earth adha edarthi devam adamana kodutte all that inheritance was given to adam adam adu nashtapeduthi adam had lost all that inheritance aa nashtamangal ellam koduthu theertha tande jeevan konde yesu adine odukatha adamayi vannu adine veendum nedi but christ paid everything needed to redeem all the things that adam lost by his own blood adagonde yesu pishaj edengil deshathe id ende salam annu parna pishaj id nadakkathilada yesu vela odu vaangiyana nu parayalla changoota ningalku enikku undaganam adu nammada avagasham that you need to have the confidence to say if the devil says that this land is mine you should have the confidence to say that christ has already paid for this and because Amen. of that you have Amen. to leave edengil vektiyale petti pishaj parayada id ende avagasham illada pishaj id ende allada ende yesu ende jeevan kodu velaki vaangi avagasham adu get away from me nu parayalla changoota namakku undaganam you must have the confidence to say if the devil comes to you and says this person is mine you have to say that christ has already paid for this person because of that you have to leave amen amen nammal ella eppozhum upayogikkunna oru deiva vachanam undu we all use a particular scripture hallelujah pentecost pratheja pentecost circle um ella circle ullavaru ella varu upayogikkunna oru veda bhagam aanu aavartana pusthakam 28th adhyayam everybody who especially the pentecostals they use in deuteronomy chapter 28 alleluya mattullavare adu upayogikkadundalla avarku athrayum vajanam avare vaayikkunnilla adu kondu athrayum avare manasilaakkunnilla devu ullu adella avare nammalella upayogikkunna njan upayogichittunde it is something that all of us use it's not that others don't know they just don't know avade onnu mudal 14 vareyulla vaakyangalile in verse 1 through 14 it, re- it reads like this ingane parayunu ninde devuma yehovade vaakku nisaddiyode kette നീ ഇതിനെ അനുസരിച്ചാൽ ഈ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങൾ എല്ലാം നിനക്കുണ്ടാകും What's written there is if you listen to the voice of the Lord your God and do what he says then all these particular blessings belong to you 
എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അനുസരിച്ചാൽ ഓരോ അനുസരണത്തിനും പകരമായിട്ട് നിനക്ക് ഈ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങൾ തരും ഇറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ഫോർ ഫോർ എവറി ഒബീഡിയൻസ് देयर ഇസ് എ ബ്ലെസ്സിംഗ് ടു ഫോളോ വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് അവിടെ നമ്മൾ ആ വാക്യങ്ങൾ അതൊന്ന് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചു നോക്കിയാൽ when you study those words ആ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങൾ എന്തു യഥാർത്ഥി what are all those blessings ഹല്ലേലൂയ അത് മുഴുവൻ ഭൂമിയിലെ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങൾ all those blessings are blessings on the earth നിനക്ക് പണം ഉണ്ടാകും you will become rich kannugalil varthikkum your cattle will increase hallelujah sodram ninde pattanathi nee anugrahikkapadum you will be blessed in the city nee bhoomil ninde peru jan valiyadakkum in the earth your name will be great valiya ottri anugrahangal idella ee bhoomil naal divasam kaliyumbol asthavichu povana anugrahangal aare ennal idu nilanilkuna nithyamaya anugrahangal alla naan nerthu ee anugrahangale petti prarthichittunde enikku aravilla thana nal ee divasangal oru divasam naan deivavana vaichirundappo kartavu ende manasu thurunnu adu kondaa njan ningal samsaarikkam all these blessings are blessings on the earth which will last only for your short life. lifetime and god has revealed it to me recently that's why i say like this ame idu bhoomile anugrahangal all these are blessings on the earth ee anugraham devam israel makkalku koduthu all these blessings were given to the children of israel avaru anusarichadathol avarku anugrahamai theernu till how much uh, according to their obedience it became blessings towards them devam abraham nodu oru karyam paranju god said a bl- to abraham like this ninakku aagashathile nakshatrangale poleyum just like the stars in the sky bhoomile pole bhoomile manal pole njan ninakku anugrahangal santhadhi tharum just like the sands on the ground i will give you children bhoomile santhadhi ke bhoomile manal pole ulla santhadhi ke aagashile nakshatrangal kondu prathichu prayojanam onnum illa all the sands of the earth they do not have any use from the stars in the sky enal aagashile nakshatrangal ke aagashile anugrahangal venam sargadhile anugrahangal venam the stars Amen. in the sky needs blessings that are according to the stars in the sky and not according to the sands of the earth amen israel makkalku deiva yadartha nammal padichu ellam vaichu nokke endu va idella bhoomile anugrahangale deiva avarku koduthullu all the blessings which god gave to the children of israel they are all blessings of the earth enna ningalku enikku deivam thandekkunna bhoomile anugraham mathramalla but for you and me the blessings which god has given us is not just blessings on the earth bhoomile anugraham mottham nammadeya all the blessings on the earth belongs to us mottham nammadeya onnum koreyada mottham nammadeya all of them belongs to us without any exception kaaranam ende yesu vela koduthu vaangichada because christ has paid for it and because of that it's mine thande jeevan koduthu vaangichada because he has paid his life for it adu enikku vendi vaangichada he has bought it for me adu njan adu njan adu njan adu alleluya enjoy cheyum njan adu avagashamaakke njan adu kaivashamaakke njan anubhavikkum i will enjoy i will make it my possession and i will enjoy those blessings na adu konda theernilla but it does not end with that anike aagashile swargathil anugrahangal undu i also have blessings in heaven amen hallelujah stotram galatiyana 3rd adhyayam galatians chapter 3 നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും ദൈവത്തിന്റെ മക്കളാകുന്നു ക്രിസ്തുവിനോട് ചേരുവാൻ സ്നാനം ഏറ്റിരിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാവരും ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ ധരിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു അതിൽ യഹൂദന് യവനുമെന്നില്ല ദാസന് സ്വാതന്ത്ര്യമെന്നില്ല ആണും പെണ്ണുമെന്നില്ല നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും ക്രിസ്തുവേശിൽ ഒന്നത്രേ ക്രിസ്തുവിനുള്ളവരെങ്കിലോ നിങ്ങൾ അബ്രഹാമിന്റെ സന്തതിയും വാഗ്ദത്ത പ്രകാരം അവകാശികളും ആകുന്നു there is neither jew nor greek there is neither slave nor free Amen. there is neither male nor free and if you are christ then you are abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise yadarthathil ee devathinte anugrahangal ellam thanne namakalla nerittu namakalla thannathu all these blessings of god they weren't directly given to us idu nerittu abraham na devu anugraham koduthu god had directly given all these blessings to abraham ulpathi pusthana 22nd adhyayathil namukku kaanam in in genesis chapter 22 we see it there Alleluia devu abraham na anugraham koduthu god gave all these blessings to abraham Alleluia aa anugrahangale adinte orappinu vendi thanne kondu thanne satyam cheyyan cheyidu and in order for those promises to come to pass he swore by himself amen alleluia appa aa anugrahangal bhoomile anugrahangal israel makkalku lebichu all the blessings of the earth the people of israel got it ennal avarku yesuvine kittilla but they did not get jesus christ alleluia yesu vishwasikkana avare yesuvine kittar ennu devathin nirbandham illa ellavaru yesuvine ullavarai thiranaan devu aagrahikkunnathu it was god's desire that everybody should have jesus ennal avare avishwasam nimittam but because of their unbelief avare hrudaya gaadinne nimittam because of the hardness of their hearts yesu vishwasikkan kariyathathu konde because they could not believe in jesus avarku vishwasam bhoomile anugrahangal kittumayirikka maybe they could get the blessings of the earth but she swargathile anugraham ninakku veno but if you need the blessings in heaven adinak yesuvine kittiye badiyathu but that can only come through jesus christ sagale anugrahangal swargathile sagale aalmi anugrahangalale christ yesuvil nammale anugrahichirikkunnu appo solla ezhudi 
the apostle says that God has blessed us with every single spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. ഈ അവകാശങ്ങളെല്ലാം നമ്മുടെ അവകാശങ്ങളാണ്. All these blessings are our inheritance. ഇത് നമ്മുടെ കൈവശമാക്കണം. We have to make the, all these inheritance our possession. ഇത് മനസ്സിലാക്കുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് കൈവശമായി തീരും. Whenever we understand it it becomes our possession. ഹല്ലേലൂയ. നമുക്ക് അറിയാം ഹല്ലേലൂയ സ്തോത്രം. നമുക്ക് ഈ പുതിയ നിയമത്തിൽ വലിയ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങൾ ദൈവം തന്നിരിക്കുക. God has given us many blessings in the new covenant. യോഹന്നാൻ സഞ്ചാരം ഒന്നാം അധ്യായം നമ്മൾ വായിക്കുന്നുണ്ട്. In John chapter 1 we read like this. യേശുവിനെ കൈക്കൊണ്ട് അവന്റെ നാമത്തിൽ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്ന ഏവർക്കും ദൈവമക്കളാകുവാൻ ദൈവം അധികാരം കൊടുത്തു. For all those who believed on him and called upon his name he gave them the right to become sons of God. താഴോട്ട് നമ്മൾ വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ when you read down uh, the bottom portion avende niravil ninnu namukku ellavarku kruba mel kruba lebichirikkunu of his fullness we have received grace upon grace endaani kruba mel kruba ennu parayunnathu what does it mean this grace upon grace nammada ethra belaginathil undengilum regardless of how much weaknesses we have adine parigarikkuvan yesuvinte oru niravunde there is a fullness in christ that can fulfill all our weaknesses ningal endaanu oru belaginatha what is your weakness this morning nammada ellavarude belaginathil oru pole alla all of our weaknesses are different chalarkku 500 500 measurement weakness undengil if somebody has 500 measurements weakness where rak 50000 measurement somebody else has 50000 measurement where rak 10 measurement somebody else has 10 measurement avare a belaginatha pala alavilla all the levels of weaknesses are different for every single person nammade aavashyangal palada our needs are different nammade hallelujah belaginathile pala areagalil palada all our weaknesses in different areas are different then na ninde belaginathu etra valudaanengilum regardless of how big your weakness is etra cherudaanengilum or how small your weakness is adane nerakkina oru nerava ende yesuvilotte but there is a fullness which fills all these weakness in christ jesus aa nerav endinu vendittullada why is that fullness there ninne nerakkanullada ninne nerakkana ninne belaginathu eduthu maatanullada yesuvinu nerava it is that fullness of christ is there so that you can overcome your weakness and that you can be filled in those areas avende niravil ninnu nammada endu belagini anil nerannolu from his fullness regardless of what weaknesses we have it will be filled nammada endu korava indu palkala ullade what weaknesses do we have this morning sagalam nerakkunna ivu undu the one who fills all things is here this morning avanil oru niram undu there is a fullness in him aa niram ond oligiya madi when that fullness flows into your life ninde balahinatha ippol maaru ee nimishathil maaru kaaram nerakkunna karthavudu undu avante niravil ninnu nerakku niram varan povunne and in this moment itself if you believe then that fullness will fill all your weaknesses so what is your need എന്താണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ ആവശ്യം നിങ്ങളുടെ ബലഹീനത എന്താ വാട്ട് ഇസ് യുവർ വീക്ക്നസ് രോഗമാണോ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് സിക്നെസ് കടഭാരമാണോ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഡെത്ത് ഹല്ലേലൂയ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഹൃദയത്തിന്റെ വിഷമമാണോ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് സം ബർഡൻ ഇൻ ദി ഹാർട്ട് കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെ പറ്റിയുള്ള ഭാരമാണോ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ബർഡൻ അബൌട്ട് യുവർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഏത് തരത്തിലുള്ള ബലഹീനത ആണ് നിനക്ക് ഉള്ളത് വാട്ട് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് വീക്ക്നെസ്സസ് ഡു യു ഹാവ് ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് ഇതിനെ എല്ലാ നിറയ്ക്കാൻ കഴിയുന്ന ഒരു നിറവ് ഹല്ലേലൂയ ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഏബിൾ ടു ഫുൾഫിൽ ഓൾ ദീസ് വീക്ക്നെസ്സസ് ഓഫ് യുവർ ലൈഫ് ഇതിനെ എല്ലാ നിറയ്ക്കാൻ നിറവുള്ള ഒരു നിറവുഞ്ഞവൻ ഒരു നിറഞ്ഞവൻ ആമേൻ देयर ഇസ് വൺ ഹൂ ഇസ് ഫുൾ enough to fill all these problems in your life avanada ende yesu avanada nammude yesu and that is jesus he is able to do all these things avaneyana namukku thannirikkathu he has been given to us idana swargathile anugraham and this is the blessings of heaven idu israel makkalku kittiyadalla this is not something the people of israel idu yesu ne sigarichathond saujanyamayi adike kittiyada but since we accepted christ it has been freely given to us idu ya nediyadalla it is not something we have earned idu ende devathinte snehathinte pradarshanamo this is an uh, this is a presentation of the love of god he niravil ninnum namukkellavarkkum krupa mel krupa lebichu and from this fullness we have received grace upon grace ayinda thaalottu nam veendu nammal vaaikkumbol when we read the uh, rest of the scripture there hallelujah sotram adu hallelujah namukku samayam nirthanu adinu shesham nammal thaalottu vaaikkumbol when we read again in the in the bible yohanna sushi onnam adhyayathil thanne 16 o 17 o matha vaakyathil ingane parayunnundu in john chapter 1 verse 17 or 16 it says like this hallelujah sotram Hallelujah pidavine aarum kandittilla oru naalum nobody has seen the father any time amen ennal devathinte ega jaadanaya putran pidavine namukku velippadi but the only begotten son of god has revealed this father to us putrande niravil koode namukku lebicha anugrahangala yesuvine kai kondo nimithamayi namukku lebicha avagashangala all these things are something we have received because we accepted christ yesu christululla kruba mel kruba the grace upon grace in christ jesus kruba mel kruba nadu ye സാഗരത്തിലും എത്ര വലിയ പടുകുഴിയിലാണെങ്കിലും നിന്നെ പൊക്കിയെടുക്കുവാനുള്ള കൃപ grace yeah. upon grace means regardless of what pit you are in or how much uh, your circumstances seems like it's not going to happen 
എത്ര നശിച്ചത് കഴിഞ്ഞത് ഇനി ഒരു പ്രത്യാശ ഇല്ലെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇനി മരിച്ചാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നിർജ്ജീവമാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇതിനെല്ലാം പൊക്കിയെടുക്കാൻ കഴിയുന്ന ഒരു കൃപയാണ് കൃപമേൽ കൃപ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആ കൃപമേൽ കൃപ നമ്മുടെ അവകാശമായി നമുക്ക് കിട്ടി വി ഹാവ് റിസീവ് ദിസ് ഗ്രേസ് അപ്പോൺ ഗ്രേസ് ആസ് ആർ ഇൻഹെറിറ്റൻസ് ആൻഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് റിഗാർഡ്ലെസ് ഓഫ് വാട്ട് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ യു ആർ ഇൻ ഗോഡ് കാൻ സ്റ്റിൽ റിഡീം യു ആമേൻ ആമേൻ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞ് നമുക്ക് പിതാവിനെ നമുക്ക് വെളിപ്പെടുത്തി ആൻഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് ഹി റിവീൽ ദ ഫാദർ ടു അസ് ആമേൻ ആമേൻ യേശു കർത്താവ് ഒരിക്കൽ ഇങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞു ജീസസ് സെഡ് വൺസ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് യഹൂദന്മാരോട് പറഞ്ഞു ഹി ടോൾ ദ ജൂഷ് പീപ്പിൾ നിങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾ എന്നെ ആകട്ടെ എൻ്റെ പിതാവിനെ ആയിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ അറിഞ്ഞിട്ടില്ല He said to them you do not know me or my father. Hallelujah. നിങ്ങളുടെ പറയുന്ന അബ്രഹാം ആണ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ പിതാവ്. You say that Abraham is your father. യേശു നേരിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞു. Jesus spoke to them face to face. നിങ്ങളുടെ പിശാചിന്റെ മക്കളാ. He has told them face to face that you are the children of the devil. നിങ്ങൾ അബ്രഹാമിന്റെ മക്കളാണ് അബ്രഹാം പറഞ്ഞു അബ്രഹാമിനെ അനുസരിച്ചും ദൈവത്തിന്റെ മക്കളാണ് ദൈവവൽപ്പനെ അനുസരിക്കുവാരുന്നു. He told them if you are ch- Abraham's children you would have obeyed Abraham if you are the children of God you would have obeyed his voice. യേശു അണ്ടർ നേരിട്ട് മുഖം നോക്കി മുഖം നോക്കാതെ പറഞ്ഞു. Jesus said to them face to face that you are the children of the devil. Israel makkalku palaye neema udambathil daasithi kedana avarkku pidavine orikkalum manasilaakkan kazhinjilla. Ennal putrathathile aalmaavu thanna daasanalla maganai thirna ninakku enikku pidavine yesu parijayapaduthi. The people of Israel because they were under the old covenant they were never able to know God the Father but we who are in the new covenant God has been revealed to us. ാണ് <laughs> Hallelujah adhe romanaya nammal vaayikkunna nammal christuvinte koot avagashigalana in romans we read like this we are co-heirs with christ etra ver avagashigale petti oru sandosham undu so how many people are happy about all these inheritances which you have in christ oru avagashigal inim undu there are many more blessings that are left in christ jesus hallelujah roga saukyam healing hallelujah sotram yesu orikkal ingane paranju jesus said like this once surafaikya rajadhikariya kananya sriyod ingane paranju he said to the canaanite woman like this hallelujah mumbai makkalku tripti varatte let the children be filled first and shesham porthullor kodukka and after that we can fill the uh, needs of the people outside endu yesu parane what is jesus saying there avalu parane ende magalkku bhoodobhadram aayirikkunu she said that my daughter is a de- demon possessed appol ee avalu parane idine saukyamaakanam and she told jesus you should heal her yesu parane ee roga saukyam endu parayna appo munname onnamad ende kunjunga kollada avaru tripti vannu kaynju ningalkku thara but the first thing that jesus says this this healing or deliverance it belongs as an inheritance to the children first after they are filled you can have it hudal maakalde melulla vidudal hudha shaktiyalde melulla saandriyam roga shaktiyalde melulla saandriyam idu nammade appama idu nammade avagashama praise all these things healing from sickness and power or to re- uh, cast out devils are our inheritance yan makalde appama anade all these are the inheritance of the children of god none ningalku dosham varudadilla none of these things will cause you any harm diabetes ningalku dosham varudadilla diabetes will not cause you any harm oru shocker nervous shocker ningalku dosham varudadilla all those illnesses in the nerves it will not cause you any problems cancer dosham varudadilla cancer will not cause you any problems arthritis dosham varudadilla arthritis will not cause you any problems nee ella oru rogaalma vaada all of these things are a spirit of illness and yesu ninne kalvarikushu ninne ella parasyamai kal kaalchiyakada yenne saukyamaagan vediyada nan thande edutoda parayan edayagana but you have to say with confidence christ has um, put to shame all these things on the cross in order to heal me amen 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 hallelujah hallelujah oru avagasham kuda paranjirun namukku nirutha one more inheritance uh, i'm going to say randa timothy 1 and 7 second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 nammal ingane vaaikunu there we read like this hallelujah second timothy 1 and 7 Thank you, Arthavi, for the Lord's name. Thank you, Arthavi, for the Lord's name. Amen, Amen. അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ നമ്മളെ പുത്രത്വത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവിന്റെ അവകാശങ്ങളാണ് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞു വരുന്നത് വി ഹാവ് സെയിങ് ദ തിങ്സ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഇൻഹെറിറ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സൺസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ഒരിക്കലും പീരത്വത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവ് പുത്രത്വത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവ് അല്ല never Amen. is the spirit of fear a spirit of the sun ആരെങ്കിലും ഭയപ്പെട്ടിരിക്കുന്നെങ്കിൽ ഭയം പിശാജ് ഓപ്പറേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ദുരാത്മാവാണ് ഭയത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവാണ് If you, if anybody of you is in fear fear is not something that comes out of god the devil uses it for his schemes enal namakku thannirikkunna aalmaave eda putrathinte aalmaavinte pratheegatha endha but of the things given to us the spirit of sonship what is the speciality of it nammade avagasham endha 
What is the inheritance in that? Shakti ude almaavu. It is an it is a spirit of power. Amen. Ellaru ondu varadhe shakti ende avagashamaade. Everybody say that power is my inheritance in Christ. Ende yesu enikku vendi nerthana avagashamaade shakti. Christ has given this freedom for me. Hallelujah. Snehathinte almaavu. A spirit of love. Oh, ende yesu enikku vendi avagashamaade. Enikku or avagashamaana sneham ennil ninnu niranju kaviyuvanum. Yesuvinte sneham porathu koduvanum. Enikku yesu or avagasham thannirikkunu. This love is something that Christ has given to me so that it might overflow out of me. Amen. Veendum parayunu. Again it says like this. Subodathinte almaavu. A spirit of self control. Yan orikkalum yan aashaya kodappathil aagathilla. I will never be confused. I always will be in sound mind. Eppodum alert mind ullavana irikkuvan oru avagasham Yesu enikku thannirikkya. Christ has given me an inheritance to be always alert and be in control. Adana pishaj aarengil aashaya kodappathil undengil innu raathri pidu paarkala Yesuvinte naamathil aashaya kodappu undakkana aashmaavu devathirathe vittu maarate. So if any body of you is in confusion or is not in control then you have then that let that spirit depart from you. Oh devadharathinte mel subodathinte aalma vishakthiyoda vyaparikkatte. Let the spirit of self control reign upon the people of God. Amen 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 hallelujah. Appo ee devathinte ee putrathathinte aalma undengil idinella swabhavangalana nammal kaanund. All these things what we see is the gifts of the spirit of God. Nammade avagashangalana. All these things are inheritance as sons of God. Adhe samayam namakku aneka padavigal undu. and uh, apart from all these blessings we have many positions namakare ee pade niyamathil ivaru nyaya pramanathinte keelil ayirunna pol we know that on the old covenant when they were when they were under the old covenant avar edarthil adimagale pole ayirunnu they were like slaves adimagale pole ayirunnu anna endha parayunnu ningal chodikkum you might ask what does it mean that they were like slaves nammal avare anugrahathe patti nammal vaichu deuteronomy 28 il aanallo in deuteronomy 28 we read about their blessings avare ingane devam parayunnu ningal idella cheyidal ningalku ee prathivela undavu Their God says if you do all these things all these things all these blessings will be added to you. ഇത് ചെയ്തില്ലെങ്കിൽ കിട്ടില്ല. If you do not do them you will not get them. ഇത് ഒരു അടിമയുടെ കാര്യമാണ്. This is something that a slave goes through. ഒരു അടിമയുടെ കാര്യം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താണ് എന്ന് മനസ്സിലാവുന്നത്? What does it mean that they are in slavery? ഒരു അടിമ ജോലി ചെയ്യുന്ന എന്തിനു വേണ്ടിട്ടാ? Why does a slave work? Hallelujah. അവൻ അവന്റെ കൂലിക്ക് വേണ്ടിട്ടാ ജോലി ചെയ്യുന്നത്. He works so that he can get his wages. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. അവൻ സ്നേഹത്തിൽ കൂടി അല്ല ചെയ്യുന്നത്. He doesn't do it because he loves the master or anything. ഞാൻ ഇപ്പോ പറയുവാ അല്ലേ സോദ്ര ഒരു വേലക്കാരനെ വിളിച്ചിട്ട് I call a servant. എൻ്റെ കാർ കഴുകി 10 ഡോളർ നിനക്ക് തരാം. I told I tell him uh, please wash my car I'll give you 10 dollars. അവൻ കാർ കഴുകും. He will wash the car. അവൻ എന്തിനു വേണ്ടിട്ടാ കഴുകുന്നത്? Why does he wash the car? അവൻ 10 രൂപ വേണം. He needs ten dollars. अ जब तक तो अलग कार क्लीन आ रही करने वाले अपने विषय में नहीं। He doesn't care about how clean the car is. यार मैंने कोई कार नोकने अपने वो डेल्ला चला ही रही कि तो उन्हें क्लीन आ रही ना। इन्हें अपने डे पुली वाले समझ जा पत्रों को तो अब बोई। वही चलो। When I go back and look, there might be many dirt on the car, but according to the agreement, I have to give him ten dollars. Hallelujah. इन दल न्याने इन दे अपन डे कार कर दिया अपन आन कुली करने वाले चले इन दल इन दे अपन इन लोग बराबर मन या कार उन्हें कर दी के. But if my father tells me to wash the car, न्याना कार इन लोग नल्ला बर्त ती आई तो सोप ओके इटा कुट्टा पना की कर दियो. Praise the Lord. But if it's me, then I will put all the soap and the wax and I will clean it properly. ये वडे एल वो रिस्पोर्ट और नगल आदमी लल्ला ना मार्च ना समय में उन्होंने की विषय में ला. I am not concerned about the time regard even the smallest detail I'll take care of it. न्यान एक कुली कर ना ला. I am not a servant. न्यान इधर डाप्पन डे कारा कर दियो ने. I am washing my father's car. ये डाप्पन डे कारा आरा डे कारा. Whose car is my father's car? इधर डे कारा आरा इधर डे वगास मारा पुरा पिसा दे. This Hallelujah. my father's car is my car this is my inheritance This is the in, uh, this is the spirit of sonship Yan are bodhipikkan onnu cheyyadilla I am not doing anything to please anybody Yan ikkorthile onnu bodhipikkadana I don't have to please anybody Yan appane bodhipikkoda But I have I only have to please my father god Are kedre ninna Regardless of who opposes me. Yan de pidavane yan prasadipikku. I will please my God. Yan ee sabha pidavane prasadipikku. This church will please God. Ivide irikkunna devathana devathe prasadipikku. All the people sitting here they will all please God. Adondana apostolam paranjathu. That is why the apostle says like this. Nirbandhathal alla. Uda kalara maada bashavala. It is not because we are out of uh, out of compulsion. Nirbandhathal alla. It is not out of compulsion. Santosh thoda cheyga. Hallelujah. But do it in happiness. Santosh thoda kodukkunna devu devu snehikkum. All those who gives in happiness God will bless them. Karthava Yesh, Karthava Yeshu paranju. Jesus said like this. Oh, ningal enna snehikkunnengil. If you love me, enna kalpanile pramaadikkum. You will do what I say. Nirbandhathal venda. You don't have to do it out of force. Idu vara nammal nirbandhathal endengil cheyidittundo. 
till now have we done something out of compulsion idonnum devathinu prasadam alla ninnu pagalka njan yesuvine avanthi vilichu parayya let me tell you that god does not delight in any of these things snegathilekku madangi va come back to love putra thanne aalmavilekku madangi va come back to the spirit of sonship ninakku honor veno devathinte snegathinte prathivalangal ninakku veno ninakku prathivalam ee parnja oru karyam parayatte go ahead if you need honor if you need anything adimayana prathivalathinu vendi cheyyunnu You know that a servant or a slave they do something to get some reward. നമ്മൾ ജോലിക്ക് പോകുമ്പോൾ when we go to work നമ്മൾ സാലറിക്ക് വേണ്ടിട്ട് ജോലി ചെയ്യുന്നു. We work for our salary. 8 മണിക്കൂർ ജോലി. 8 hour work. ഒരു മിനിറ്റ് കൂടി നിൽക്കത്തില്ല അവിടെ. We will not stay a minute extra. കാർഡ് പഞ്ച് ചെയ്ത് സ്ഥലം വിടും. We will punch our cards and we will leave the place. എന്നാൽ എൻ്റെ അപ്പൻ്റെ ബിസിനസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ But if it's the business of my father sotram ratri 2 mani ayal njan ee joli thirthitte pogathullu even if it's 2 in the morning i will not leave until i finish my work kaaranam njan eduthitte kooli kaar alla because i am not somebody servant idu ende appante padiyana njan cheyyuvada hallelujah father's inheritance and because of that i will do it hallelujah സ്തോത്രം 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 ഈ പശ്ചാത്തലത്തിൽ പുത്രത്വത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവോട് കൂടി നിങ്ങൾ യേശുവിന്റെ പഠിപ്പീര് ഇന്ന് തൊട്ട് വായിക്കണം ഗോഡ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു റിവലൂഷണൈസ് യു ഗോഡ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ചേഞ്ച് യു ഗോഡ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബ്ലസ് യു ആൻഡ് ഹി ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ലിഫ്റ്റ് യു ആൻഡ് യു ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സീ ഹു ഈസ് അവർ ഫാദർ ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് യുവർ പൊസിഷൻ ഇൻ ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ജീസസ് അരഖല ലൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി റെവലേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഫ്രം ദിസ് റെവലേഷൻ ആസ് സൺസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് റീഡ് ദി വേർഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ആമേൻ ഈ ഒരു ആത്മാവിൽ ഹല്ലേലൂയ മത്തായി സുശേഷം അഞ്ചാമത്തെ നിങ്ങൾ ഒന്ന് വായിച്ചേ from the light of this word of god read matthew chapter 5 amen kartavu paranju jesus said like this yan idella ningal endina parayune why am i saying all these things to you ningal sorgasana ende pidavine makkal aagandadana hallelujah kulikaragal allada so that you may become sons of my father in heaven not as servants hallelujah kooliyada manobha indu maarkala maarte dashya manobha yesu vinde naamathil devijanathe vittu maarte Hallelujah praise the Lord so our attitude of rewards move away from this place Amen amen kartavu paranju Jesus said like this oru naaliga ninnodu kooda povan vilichal if somebody asks to go 1 mile with you go 2 mile with him Hallelujah ala khala mashallah I'll go to 2 mile odan kulikana nan endu cheyum if it's a servant what will he do avan oru kashtichu kulikada paranjada enik oru mile poi adinoru salathu povu And if it's a servant he will say he will barely go the one mile and say this is enough. And the putram parayum but will, will the son say the same thing? Oral parayava enik a bus stop il njangade 70th number bus inna bus stop il unda enne avadottu onnu vidam. If somebody says you know drop me to this bus stop the 70 bus comes there. Putran endu parayun ariyam. Do you know what the son says? Hallelujah. Hare njan ninne veetti kondu vidam veedu appra thirakku kondano New York ninne kondu vidam varano njan varam. But if it's yeah, a son, yeah, 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 it's not just the bus stop. If you have to go to New York, I will come and drop you there. Praise the Lord. Putra naan ke inge na varayu. This is what the son says. Dasa naan ke ilchre endel chede to boorum. If it's a servant, he will do something and then leave. Hallelujah. Yes, you went to paranyo. Jesus again said like this. Ninde udu parile choy chal. If somebody asks you for your clothes, ninde pota pungu da vani kudu kanam. You should also give him your cloak. Hare kuri kar naan endo varayu. If it's a servant, what will they say? Aage ani konne ullu. Regardless, I only have one shirt. Yani ni thandhe ni jale kena. தவத கொடுக்கதில்ல if i give this how will i live and because of that he will not give கொடுத்தால் இந்த நிர்பந்தத்தால் இனி எஜமானின் அடிமை இல்ல அது அடிமைக்கு செய்யாதிரிக்கാൻ பட்டதில்ல அவட அவ செய்யு காரணம் செய்தில்லെങ്കിൽ நெகட்டிவ் மார்க்க ஹalleluya சோதரம் செய்தில்லെങ്കിൽ நெகட்டிவ் மார்க்க மார்க்க குறையும் கூலி கிட்டதில்ல தானே அல்ல உள்ள கூலி கிட்டே கூலி தானே குறச்சே கிட்டதில்ல 10 ரூபா கிட்டிட்டு அது கிட்டதில்ல நேரத்தை 10 ரூபா ஜோலி செய்துட்டு அது கிட்டதில்ல அது கொண்டு அவனே நிர்பந்தத்தால் அது செய்யும் ஹalleluya சோதரம் என்னால் மகன் ஆகும் பரையும் இல்ல என்னைக்கு உள்ளது எல்லாம் நான் தரிய If it's a servant he will say because he has to receive his wages he will give but if it's a son he will say all that i have is yours endu kondana why is it so pudhiya neemathinte aalmaavu this is the spirit of the new covenant daasithinte aalmaavu alla it is not the spirit of bondage idu putrathinte aalmaavu it is the spirit of sonship aa putrathinte aalmaavu varumbol when that spirit of sonship comes ninde manobhavu maaru your perspectives will change yan ende devathinte magana i am a child of my god yan ende appante magana i am a child of my father ende appane enne avagashiyaakirikya my father has made me an heir yano ende pitrubhavanam adhwanichu undaakiyadalla it is not something that me and my household have worked and gained eni korikalum nedan pattuna alla da it is not something that i can ever earn yan oru mahobhavi ayirunavana i used to be a big sinner natam vamichavana i used to be somebody who was ende pilavinte sneham but the love of god in a thirty it came and saw me and he paid a price and he paid a price avan rectam enne kaligi and his blood washed me avan enne avadutha magan maganaakki theerthu and he made me his son avan de putrathinte aalmavane enne thannu and he gave me the spirit of son yan avan de avagashiya and i am his heir yende appan avan he is my father appan de endeda whatever my father has belongs to me appan de enna cheyindha dasinaatalla 
whatever I don't do, the things of my father as a servant does. This is my inheritance. This is my position. This is my position. This is my This is the greatest honor which can I get, which I can get. There is no other honor greater than this. This is the greatest honor which I can get. I have heard people say like this. One person said to me like this. A man of God who ministers through TV. Uh, it says about him like this. All of them are they are just asking for money. What do they do with this money? I know that this person who is talking about this man of God has never given anybody any money. We all are people who give for the kingdom of God. But we don't give out of compulsion. This is the work of my father. This is the work of my father. This is my work. This is my responsibility. I am here to lift the name of my father. One life God has given to me. He saved me from sin. He made me his son. I am completely secure in his hands. I have nothing lacking. I don't have any weakness. He made me an heir to all his inheritance. Since everything he has became mine, because of that, nothing that I have belongs to me. All my health belongs to him. My body belongs to him. My children belong to him. My wife belongs to him. My, belongs to him. my husband belongs to him. My job belongs to him. My finances belong to him. My car belongs to him. My house belongs to him. All that I have belongs to him. I don't lack anything. Because Jesus is mine. Oh, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. And because of that, I don't need anything else. Do you, God? Okay. Maybe you have so many needs. You might but don't worry about that. But don't worry about Jesus is yours. Jesus belongs to you. If this attitude is inside you, if this attitude is inside me, I will not be the same person that I used to be. I will not do anything out of force. I will not pray out of compulsion. I will not fast out of compulsion. I will not worship out of compulsion. I will not do anything because somebody forced me. Because I love him. Because he loved me first. Because he loved me first. And because of that, I will love him. This is my privilege. There is no greater privilege on There is nothing that gives me more joy than any of these. There is nothing that gives me more happiness than these. Things. I am more than happy to do anything what he wants. I am happy to do everything that he has asked of me. And for that, this morning. Our God. Let God touch our hearts for this to happen. Let the attitude of our old life move away in our lives. We have done many things out of the attitude of a servant. But this morning, let that attitude move away from us. Let that uh, attitude, that perspective move away. Hallelujah. Whatever I have done for the, in the name of the Lord. Who is me for this Lord? Who am I to do all these things? Who am I to do all these things? Will we fall down in the presence of God? When God gives us opportunities. We, get, we fall down again and again. In order to represent the King of Kings. In order to be a representative of the <laughs> Lord of Lords. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Who is my Father's house? <laughs> Who, Who are we as a church? <laughs> Who is our man of God? <laughs> Who, each of us, who are we that we should represent you? In order to represent our God. In order to represent this big God. In order to represent this love of God. 
God, we thank you that you have given us this opportunity. We thank you because of this opportunity. Oh there is nothing greater than this. I thank you for this great privilege. I thank you for this great privilege. Thank you, God. Thank you. God, lead us in the spirit of sonship from this point onwards. Amen. In the name of Jesus May God bless you with this word of God and thank you all for praying.